Hey everybody, welcome to Good Day Farm and welcome to the Sunday uh, chat video, weekly chat video. Uh, hope you all had a great week, hope you had a great day. Um, first of all, I want to thank everyone for watching, uh, watching this video, watching all my other videos. Uh, I didn't get, um, I had a couple more videos I wanted to upload this week that I did not get a chance to do. Uh, I had kind of a crazy week. And we'll get into more of that uh, in a little bit when I get to kind of the update part of the video here. Uh, but mainly, I, I, I just, you know, like I do every week, I, I just want to say thank you to everyone for being here, for being uh, active in the community, for, for the, uh, you know, the great interaction and, and comments and questions and, and just general, you know, positivity that, that flows through the channel because of you guys. Uh, you're, you're what makes this community great. And um, I, I, I'm, I'm grateful for that. So uh, things are going well as far as, uh, I guess, um, as far as the channel goes, as far as, um, you know, the analytics that I follow. Um, we're, we're, we're just, every week, just keep continuing on an upward pace. Um, got a few new subscribers this week. Welcome if you guys are watching this video. Thanks for uh, taking the time to watch some videos and hit the subscribe button. I really hope you're enjoying it here and you know introduce yourself uh, you can you know if you're seeing this video just just say hello and and where you're from maybe or something like that or, or what your interests are uh, also uh, this applies to anyone um, if you have any questions or or ideas or thoughts uh, about things you'd like to see that we do around here uh, feel free to ask if it's something we currently do and I can get it on video for you guys to, to show the process I'll gladly do it uh, we've done one or two videos that way before. Um, if uh, if if it's not something we do, but maybe I, you know, like, hey, you know what? That's a great idea. We should try something like that. Then I'll document that on video too. So anyhow, um, th that's what this is all about. We're, we're all here to learn from one another, share our ideas, our points of views, our you know tips, whatever processes, and things like that. So I really appreciate it when you guys do that. Um, some of my videos, excuse me, some of my videos, uh, especially the more like how-to technical ones on the chainsaw stuff, um, I get some really good questions and I get some really good pointers, uh, you know, because obviously there's more than one way to do something and uh, more than one way that works. Uh, might work for you, might not work for you, might work for me, might not. Uh, maybe multiple ways work for me and then you just pick your favorite. And so those kind of questions or comments I really like. Uh, I had somebody recently ask, you know, on, on a video where I've shown a couple of different ways of doing the same thing, you know, which, which one did I prefer, which, which was my favorite way of doing it. And, um, you know, sometimes that's challenging. It's, there's not, it's not always as simple as that's my favorite way. Uh, there's, there's a time and a place for each technique or each tool or each guide or whatever. And, you know, so it depends if I'm out in the, you know, out in the forest cutting trees, I'll prefer to do something this way because it's convenient out there. If I'm at home in my shop and I'm doing something, I might do it this way because you know it's it's more convenient or easier. Uh, so that kind of stuff. So keep it up, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, keep uh, if you're sharing videos or sharing the channel or telling people about it, keep that up too. I really appreciate that. Um, I think that's great that that uh, anybody you know who's doing that. Uh, you know, obviously is enjoying what they're seeing enough to where they want to tell others about it. And to me, that's, that's like one of the ultimate compliments, you know? Um, so I really, really, really appreciate that. That's phenomenal. Uh, so that's about all, you know, that kind of is the best way I can sum it all up. You know, just, just seriously, a great big thank you to, uh, to everybody, to each and one of you, uh, that that's here, that's new here, that's been here since the beginning. And, and anywhere in between, you, you, I value you all uh, equally. So um, I, I hope that everyone understands that and, and really, truly, you know, appreciates that. Um, you know, I've got a little uh, core group, I guess you will, uh, of people that, that are very active and comment a lot. And you guys are great. Uh, I, I love, I look forward to seeing what uh, some of you have your own channels. So I look forward to seeing what you're doing, and, and I really look forward to seeing the comments or questions you may have for me when you see my videos. That's great. That's really cool. That, that really makes this feel like a community. And then, um, you know, and I think sometimes that encourages other people that, that may, may 
not, you know, maybe a little reluctant to post a question or a comment. Well, if they see other people doing it and they see the interaction is, is well received, then, you know, they know they can, you know, uh, what's the term? It's safe place, right? Um, you know, nobody's going to criticize you. Nobody, you know, there are no dumb questions. There are no uh, bad comments. Um, just, just say what's on your mind and, and we'll, we'll go from there. So, uh, thanks, you guys. It's, it's really, really a, a great thing. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, this, is, this is a neat adventure that we're doing. Um, it's very new to me, so uh, I'm having a blast doing it, and, and it's because of you. Uh, it's because of the great members of this community that make this so much fun. So, um, that said, uh, I, I, I don't know what else I can say. It's just just keep doing what you're doing. I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I love it. I love every one of you for being here and, and taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and comments, so that's great. Um, now moving on to a few little updates that's going on around here for us. So been a pretty hectic last few days since Thursday basically. So we've had some issues uh, with with the house and um, it has just consumed all my time up until literally just a couple hours ago before we finally got caught up enough to where we could take a break. So just to quickly let you know what was going on, we had um, on Thursday our septic tank uh, we discovered was full and we discovered that by it backing up into the basement um we're new to this house and we we were the way it was explained to us by the previous owners we were led to believe that we would have a couple more years um before we would even be close to needing to pump it and uh, it turns out it, it, it that wasn't the case so that in in itself is pretty bad you know a surprise like hello you know Got to deal with this. So we make some phone calls to try and get somebody to come out and pump it. And everybody's telling us it's going to be Wednesday or, or even Friday, which would be over a week, but basically a week. And I'm like, I can't, we can't do that. I mean, we couldn't even uh, flush a toilet without it, it coming back up through the basement. So, and the base, our basement's finished. So, you know, that's not that that would make it any better if it wasn't finished, but that makes it critical that, that it, you know, not do that. So I finally found a local company, um, great, great people. Uh, uh, there's actually two companies, they're, they're family, and they both are in the septic business, and they were able to get out the next morning. Uh, they tried every every possible, we try, our schedules just would not make it happen that day. They were trying to come out that night. They, they were willing to. Uh, we just could not, because of our jobs, couldn't make that happen. So, uh, so okay, we're good, set for Friday. Uh, start getting rain Thursday. Rained all day. Um, I'm at work, as everyone knows. I work uh, mid shift, second shift, and so Cindy comes home uh, from her her uh, internship and says uh, sends me a text and says there's about three inches of water in the whole basement. So because of the rain, the basement started taking on water, and uh, our basement does not have sump pumps. Um, every all the drainage in it is is uh, gravity fed, so our our septic and drain field are below the basement level. So since the septic was full, when the, when the basement did start to take on water, which it does rarely, well, it, it does do it. Uh, I wouldn't say every time it rains, but in heavy rains, it will take some water on. And uh, there's an area where it's all concrete and it hits a drain and it goes out. And it's more of an inconvenience than any, you know, than any damage or anything. It's just a pain because, you know, it makes that area wet and, and it will pool some water up there. Uh, well, obviously, since it couldn't drain, it just backed up and... Uh, and now we realize how, how much it really does take on water. We never realized before because it doesn't usually while we're not here. And we just come home and see this little puddle and think, oh, we took a little bit of water on. Well, no, it takes, it's just a steady flow of water when it's raining heavy. So it flooded the basement. Um, so we spent, so Friday they pumped our tank. Uh, I, I came home early Thursday, had to leave work. Uh, we, we got all the water out of the basement the best we could. Um, half of it's uh, concrete, half of it's carpet. Uh, the carpeted area was just not letting the water out as quickly as we needed to. Finally went to bed probably 1 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Got back up early Friday. The septic guys show up. They pump the tank and uh, leave. Go to flush the toilet. It's still backed up. So now it means we've got a clog somewhere between the house and the septic, which is not really uncommon. I mean, it's not, not out of the question, I guess, for when you have a backed up septic for it to do that, especially on a gravity-fed type system. So before I go to work, we race to town, rent one of those big 100-foot uh, uh, drain snakes, power ones. Uh, it's got 
up to a four inch auger on it so it could clean out our sewer line. Spent about an hour working with that. Got, uh, got it finally opened up to where it would drain. It wasn't completely cleared out, but enough to where it would drain. Was able to take a shower, went to work, come home, redid everything Saturday morning, finally got it up to the full size auger and completely cleaned out the line. There was probably about 15 feet of clogged up line at the very end, which makes sense, you know, with the septic tank in. So then we got to spend uh, the rest of the day Saturday going through stuff, moving stuff upstairs, you know, all the furniture, all everything. Uh, our master bedroom, believe it or not, is actually down in the basement. Uh, not anymore. So we had to move the bed, uh, dressers, you know, all that stuff, get it up, a bunch of stuff we put outside to try and dry. Uh, thankfully, the weather was, was cooperating. And uh, so then we're in a mad scramble to make a space to put this stuff upstairs because we're not taking a risk of putting it downstairs again. So um we, we do that and then uh today we spent pretty much the bulk of the day finishing that up you know we took up what was our office area den the previous owner had used it for a bedroom it's on the main level and we just didn't want a bedroom in that space well now we do uh, so we got that set up uh tore all the carpet out of the basement uh of course that meant more water um you know it's amazing how much water a carpet pad will hold uh, so got that all mopped back up again and a uh, little bit of damage to the walls um, Not horrible not as bad as I thought it would be but uh, so At a later date, we'll probably have to tear some of that out um, right now. We're done I got to go back to work tomorrow uh, This coming weeks an all overtime week for me again So I'll be going to work two hours earlier than normal uh, Just won't have time for anything so that's eating up a lot of our time some of the stuff that we had planned to do this weekend with the grow table and seed starts uh, is not going to happen until next weekend. And uh, our chicks, I believe, come this week. So that's going to be a scramble to get that ready because I did not get the new brood box built. We'll have to use our old one, I think. Um, so anyhow, life on the farm, you know. I mean, emergencies happen and you have to adapt and, and, and you know, move on. Uh, you can't let it just shut you down as, as much as you'd like it to. Uh, some of the stuff's just overwhelming, you know, and it's like, how, how are we going to handle this? Couldn't have came at a worse time for us. Um, you know, and then have stuff like this happen during the week. Uh, my work is not very forgiving with taking a, like time off like that. They treat all time off the same. So even if it's an emergency, you still get an occurrence for it. You're only allowed so many occurrences a year and, and you're fired. So it, it really makes it a dilemma, you know, uh, to do stuff, you know, to have to leave like that, but you got to do what you got to do. So anyhow, uh, even with all that, I'm still, uh, thankful you know, that, that we have jobs, that we have a home that, you know, as funny as it sounds, you know, I mean, as rough and terrible as that was to have happen, we're in a position where it could happen. We're in a position, uh, maybe not financially. It's not like we got to hire people to clean this mess up for us, but you know, like Cindy made the comment today, thankfully we have the skills and the ability to clean it up ourselves. Uh, physically we're able to do it. Um, you know, we have the skill level, you know, I'm familiar with using the right tools and stuff. So I was able to go rent them and get the job done. And, and I know a lot of people might not be able to do that. You know, they may not even know where to begin. Um, if we were older physically, we might not be able to do it. Uh, we struggled with some of the furniture, you know, it's difficult to move up and down the stairs in the first place. So, uh, I can't imagine if we were 20 years older than we are now, we, we would have to hire somebody to come out and do it for us. So. All that, you know, it's 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 a, an appreciation of life, you know, I mean, I'm thankful that we're able to take care of it. I, I'm really bummed that it happened, but at least we're able to move on and, and it didn't destroy our life, you know, so. Um, so anyhow, uh, not to be too down or negative, you know, bummer about it, but uh, that's what's been going on. So it's been a hectic, hectic last four days and uh, the next week's going to be very busy. But, you know, a lot of stuff, we're, we're going to get the stuff done. Um, so we'll have some good... Uh, Good content coming up, I believe. You know, we'll, we'll definitely be getting the seeds planted. We'll be getting some chicks in, and and that's going to be a fun adventure for you guys to follow along. I hope so. Uh, I'm going to let this go right here. Uh, it's running a little bit longer than I had originally planned. I'm super tired. I just want to get some rest, so I was just trying to make a quick uh, video here. But uh, again, like all my Sunday videos, weekly chats, whatever you like to call them, uh, the number one point for me of doing these is to thank you guys. Uh, every one of you and so I just want to close with that thank you very much um, there's there's quite a few of you that that inspire me and motivate me and and drive me to continue doing this channel um, you know I don't want to say continue I, I like I've always said I, I would probably still do the videos no matter what but but the, there's some of you that that make me look forward to it 
because uh, I like the interaction. And so keep that up. Uh, it's really, really cool for me to see people interact. And as we all know, the way YouTube works, the more you guys interact with it, the more the exposure gets, the more people can come in. And I always have thought on, even on our Facebook group, the larger the community, the, the better for everyone. Because the more opinions, the more thoughts, the more, you know, everybody's got a different way of doing something. And, the more, and you know, that's what we're doing here is just doing for ourselves. Uh, you know, like I talked about last week, I don't really like to put a label on it as far as homesteading or, or whatever. But, um, you know, we're just doing things for ourselves, kind of doing way, the way my parents' generation would have been or maybe my grandparents' generation. You know, you didn't hire people to come take care of stuff for you. You, you did it yourself. And I feel like that skill set's been lost over the generations. Um, people can't do it for themselves anymore or they don't have the desire to because they can just hire someone. And I don't want to ever be in that position. I, I you know, if, if something like this just happened in an emergency, I'm very glad and, and thankful that I had the ability to take care of it. So, uh, anyhow, keep watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for taking the, the 15, 20 minutes out of your life to watch this video and, and watch all my other videos. Um, if you like what you're seeing, you know, I, I would really appreciate it if you shared this with other people, you know, the channel in general. And uh, that, that would be, like I said, the ultimate compliment. So, um, anyhow. Welcome all the new subscribers. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for being here. Uh, we got uh, we got a lot of good stuff planned, so stick around. Uh, you guys have a great night, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Remember, it's always a good day on the farm. Bye now.